Did you take three vacations last year? Do you have $1,500 a month in, in car payments? Is your house too big? Your electric bill? Whatever it is, those are all luxuries. You're killing your baby money soldiers early on. Hello and welcome. My name is Gino Barber, one of the co-founders of Jake and Gino. And in this how-to video, we're gonna be really discussing how to create wealth by using your baby money soldiers. If you don't know by now what a baby money soldier is, simply, I'm gonna hold up a dollar bill. Here's your baby money soldier. Any dollar that comes into your life is what Jake and I call a baby money soldier. Now, you really need to have a mindset shift around creating wealth and understanding how to create it. We've been taught how to create wealth, how to generate income incorrectly. Most of us haven't even learned it. It's nowhere to be found in schools. So as you're listening to this, I want you to take total responsibility of your financial picture. And for some of you, that may be challenging. And for myself, earlier on, it was. I was in the blame game. I was the victim. It was everyone else's fault. It was the politicians. It was the economy. Everything was against me. When I soon realized that I didn't have enough value, that I didn't, I didn't have enough skills, that I didn't know the rules of money, the rules of wealth, once I started to learn them and understand them, things started to change. So right now, I want you to adopt the mindset of you being a general of your baby money soldiers. You're looking over your financial picture. That's your battleground. Think of it that way. You're the general. Once you understand that you have the power and the control to direct your baby money soldiers, your dollars, any which way you'd like, things start to change a little bit. You can actually say to yourself, well, do I need to buy this? Because ultimately, the goal to creating wealth is to get this baby money soldier and to let it procreate, to let it continue to grow. And I don't want to hear you say that I don't have enough money, I'm not making enough money, because I know plenty of people out there who are earning seven figures and above and are living pretty much paycheck to paycheck. They spend every single one of their baby money soldiers. They kill them. Understanding that you're putting a little bit aside and saving your baby money soldiers to buy an asset that will ultimately create more baby money soldiers and let them procreate and invest in another asset to generate even more baby money soldiers and let them procreate. Listen, that was the blueprint for me. That's how I got started in real estate. I had my restaurant job, business, it was creating baby money soldiers. It wasn't creating a lot. It was creating enough for me to put money aside for me and Jake to buy our very first deal. On that very first deal, my baby money soldiers from my restaurant was paying for my lifestyle. Now, where and how can you spend baby money soldiers? Well, you can spend them on operating expenses, you know, your home, your car, anything you need to live off of, your food, groceries. Then you have your luxuries. You know, your needs, which is what I call an operating expense versus your wants or your luxuries. Now, this is where a lot of people get confused. They're like, well, I'm not making enough money. I can't save. Well, did you take three vacations last year? Did you buy a ton of expensive jewelry? Do you have $1,500 a month in, in car payments? Is your house too big? Your electric bill? Whatever it is, those are all luxuries. You're killing your baby money soldiers early on. You're not allowing them to grow and to procreate. And then using those baby money soldiers to be able to pay for those luxuries. That's the power of wealth creation. It takes a little bit of time. And most of us early on kill our baby money soldiers. But I was fortunate, like I said early on, that very first deal that I closed with Jake, those baby money soldiers stayed in the deal. I created equity within that deal. What I was able to do is I refinanced out $164,000 worth of baby money soldiers. I didn't kill them because I had my restaurant job here. That was paying for my operating expenses and for whatever else, luxuries. I took those $164,000 of baby money soldiers. I put them into the next deal. So now you see you've got two deals going on right now. One that is con continuing to print baby money soldiers and another one that I just took over that's starting to do the work. And if you buy one deal a year after four or five years, you've got four or five deals that are printing baby money soldiers. Now I'm using that as the, the real estate. You can do the same thing if you want when you're buying stocks. If you're buying a stock that has dividend payments, 
and you're getting dividends every month, well, those are baby money soldiers. I just like the real estate as the vehicle for baby money soldiers because there's multiple ways to generate baby money soldiers through real estate, which most people don't even understand or don't think about. What about cost segregation? Cost segregation allowed Jake and myself to take massive tax benefits. So we were able to defer taxes. So you're paying less in taxes. You're not killing baby money soldiers and sending them off to the government. What you're doing is you're saving those taxes and hopefully if you're wise enough or if you've been taught the rules of money, you're taking those tax savings and investing them into another deal, which creates more cost segregation benefits. Refinance is another powerful one. I just mentioned to you my our very first deal, $164,000 of baby money soldiers. Let's really pull it out and what we've been able to do over the last 10 to 15 years. We've been able to refinance out over $25 million worth of baby money soldiers. And that money has gone into buying more deals. And as you can see, that cash flow snowball starts to grow. It does take a couple of years, but once you've got a couple of deals under your belt, don't kill those baby money soldiers. Continue to reinvest. I often get the question, should I quit my job and go all in on real estate? The answer, as any you know, smart or intelligent attorney usually answers is, I'll answer it by saying it depends as well. For me, I couldn't burn the ships. I burned the ships mentally, but I still needed that job to be able to pay. And what it allowed me to do was it didn't allow me to kill my baby money soldiers early on in my real estate journey. I was able to reinvest them into the business. Now, I had six kids at the time, so it took me five years from when I first met Jake to leaving my restaurant. It took two and a half years from that very first deal because I was very diligent. I wanted to continue to invest those baby money soldiers. It's really important. Let's talk about a couple ways on how to expand them. Important because right now we always love to talk about investing in real estate as the vehicle. Now, if you can't do it actively, a great way to deploy baby money soldiers into real estate is passively. Now, if you want to learn more how to become a passive investor, just give us a call 865-800-3905 or go onto our website. We just lost, launched a program called Passive Investor Pro. For those of you out there that are extremely busy, you wanna get into real estate, you want cost segregation, you want refi and roll, you want cash flow every month, but you don't have the time. You're busy working those long hours, making your own baby money soldiers, but you wanna create additional ones, just reach out to us. You can either email me gino at jakeandgino.com and say, hey, I want to learn more or just go to the website jakeandgino.com and look up Passive Investor Pro. But ways to expand them, invest in an asset, in any kind of asset that produces cash flow. And once you're producing cash flow, you have that asset that has the principal and it produces cash flow every single month. Those baby money soldiers are coming. It's as simple as having $10,000 and putting it into a bank. You're producing four or 5%. It may not seem like a lot, but once you start getting the taste of baby money soldiers coming your way, it can become truly addicting. The next one is to buy an existing business. Jake and I love to talk about real estate. We also love to talk about buying businesses. You buy a business, a business produces cash flow, and it has value. So you build that business up. Let's say you buy it for $300,000 and you do a really great job. At the end of five years, that business is worth even a million dollars. You've just created an additional $700,000 of baby money soldiers, and you've created cash flow every single month. An amazing way to create and expand your baby money soldiers. Refi and roll, we just mentioned that. Refinancing out of a property, whether it's a single family home, a mobile home park, adding value to the property, refinancing that money out. Don't kill those baby money soldiers. Use them to invest in the next deal. Now, this other one is pretty cool. It's a 1031. Most people don't think about it, but when you do a 1031 exchange in real estate, you're buying like kind. So let's say you have a 10 unit apartment complex and you find an amazing deal. It's a 30 unit. You do a 1031, you roll the proceeds from the 10 unit into the 30 unit. What you're doing is you're deferring the capital gains on that 30 unit and you're not killing those baby money soldiers. You're bringing them along for the ride. What an amazing strategy to continue to actually defer paying taxes and prolonging and allowing those baby money soldiers to continue to create wealth. I mean, expanding, another way to expand, just go out and find a side hustle. I mean, for me, real estate early on was the side hustle. I had the restaurant. If you're a fix and flipper, great way 
to expand them. You're creating more baby money soldiers. If you're wholesaling, great. You're expanding those baby money soldiers. Hopefully what you do with them is you get them, you save them, you put them to the side, and then when an opportunity comes, you invest them in that opportunity. Creating wealth is not complicated. It's pretty simple, but it isn't easy because we haven't been taught how to do it. I'm launching a book called Baby Money Soldiers. I'm gonna have it in the show notes. I'd love for you to purchase a copy. It goes into expanding the different ways you can use it, the rules to protect them and to actually expand them because we go into a lot of depth into a lot of detail of different strategies, but trying to simplify it for the reader because at the end of the day, creating wealth has certain rules. And if you don't follow those rules, like you're playing a sport, don't play baseball with a football. Not part of the rules. Understanding the rules of money will allow you to create wealth. And that's what you're trying to do. Defer today, create wealth, have that long-term responsibility mindset, and you will be on your way to creating wealth in your life. Thanks for spending part of your day with me. I truly enjoy having these conversations. It's as if I just love talking about money because money can ultimately bring happiness in your life. That's not the ultimate goal of money to become happy with money, but it can alleviate a lot of stresses. It can alleviate a lot of the pressures of day to day. It can also create experiences for you. That's why we're creating these baby money soldiers and trying to produce and procreate so they can help create experiences in your life. Thanks. I will see you all on next week's How To. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe so you'll never miss another episode. 